Is this because I made you wait? It's because I can't have anyone know the real me, and so you must die. Ah, Stewie. The ultimate troublemaker of Family Guy has caused a storm of controversy with his outrageous antics. So brace yourselves as we unveil our top 10 list of the worst things Stewie's done. Ready to dive in? Number 10. Juiced up on steroids. I notice your kid is having some trouble. You're telling me. Aw, oh, your kid just needs a little help. I got something that'll get him going. Well, if there's anyone I can trust, it's a stranger at the gym holding a dirty needle. Remember that time Stewie juiced up? Well, truth be told, it was Peter's fault this round. But Stewie's reaction to the results is totally on him. Wow, Stewie, you look like a new man. Well, will you look at me? I have the power! <laughs> Peter was feeling a bit embarrassed after getting his butt kicked by a little tight baby, so he dragged him to the gym, pumped him full of roids, unleashing a total transformation into Stewie's tiny body. Hello, family. <clears throat> Does anyone need the remote? Oh my god, what the hell happened to Stewie? With newfound power coursing through his veins, Stewie's rocking an aggressive persona and teasing his dog at every opportunity. Where do you think you're going? I'm going downstairs. Oh, there's a toll in the hole now. Ten bucks. Look, can I? Oh, this is. Oh, can I? Oh, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. Okay, Stewie has done more serious stuff, but seeing him all muscular and acting like a bully definitely earns him a spot on this list, right? Oh, and speaking of steroids wearing off. What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Your steroids have worn off. You're weak like everyone else. And guess what? There's a toll in the hall now. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stewie, no. Number nine, crashed Brian's car. I should be on glee. Oh my God. I just drove. Dude, that was amazing. I can drive. So remember the time Stewie went joyriding in Brian's car? Yeah, it was probably not as serious as some of the other crazy things this baby's done throughout the show. Unless... Well, now it's a big deal, and that's why I got a spot on our list. You know anything about this? A about what? About what a beautiful day? Oh my god, that is surprising! Oh, I had to stop that last sentence in the middle because I was so surprised. What happened? That's right, Stewie had the audacity to borrow his friend's car, but not admit to his wrongdoing, earning him a place at our top. Too bad for him, though. He forgot about one little detail. Stewie, I know it was you. Your potato joke was terrible. Number eight, kidnapped his bully. Trikey, I think he likes it. When I stick this army guy with the sharp bayonet up my nose, it tickles my brain. <laughs> Ow! Oh, now I don't know math. It all went down the day Stewie got his hands on his very first tricycle. The youngest member of the Griffin family was overjoyed with happiness, but as we all know, life isn't always a bed of roses. Nice bike. Oh, if that's not the understatement of the century. It's cool. Too cool for you? Oh, no, no. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I suppose you, you do have to ride it to truly appreciate its virtues. After that unfortunate run-in, Stewie decided it was time to take the bull by the horns. Gotta give him props for initially trying more conventional approaches. So what were you wanting to work on? Cardio, upper body, what? Uh, upper body, definitely. I, I, I no. need to get buff so I can get my tricycle back. Yeah. Are we kidding, though? It's family guy and conventional ain't their style. So, he decided to go full-on Stewie mode. Your cruelty merely stems from some deep-seated inner pain. So the obvious remedy is a healthy dose of outer pain! A few moments later... Ah, uh, no! Don't! Stewie, look what I found! <gasps> My trikey! Luckily for that young bully, Lois swooped in just in the nick of time to save his sorry behind. But you can bet your bottom dollar that the next time he even thinks about messing with Stewie Griffin, he'll think twice. What's going on down here? Oh, uh, we're playing house. That boy is all tied up. Roman Polanski's house. Number seven, set Olivia and her lover on fire. There she is, Brian. Oh boy, I'm gonna take her down right in front of everybody. All right, Olivia, get ready to- Good Lord. What is it? She looks fantastic. When Olivia Fuller returned to Quahog after her contract was canceled, Stewie thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to have a little fun at her expense. But little did he know, he'd end up getting hooked and head over heels for her. Unfortunately, things didn't go exactly according to his master plan. Look, Stewie, you're sweet, but since I moved to Hollywood, 
I've done a lot of growing up. I'm dating more sophisticated men now, but it was good to see you. In a desperate move, Stewie tries to switch up his game and give Olivia what she's after. Thank goodness Brian's there to drop some serious knowledge. Do women like it when you treat them like crap? Women respond when you treat them like crap. Well, Olivia, prepare to meet a much darker Stewie Griffin. Stewie manages to win her over by stepping into the bad boy role, and life's all rainbows and unicorns for a hot minute, until... Sweetie, listen, I'm sorry, I... <gasps> oh, Stewie, I, I thought you were at Chuck E. Cheese with your mom. No, a four-year-old died in the ball pit we had to cancel. But hey, Stewie learns how to handle rejection like a boss. Is that smoke? <gasps> <gasps> Idea for a farce. Cheating wife and papa's ass burned alive. <laughs> Number six. Kidnap the babysitter's boyfriend. Sorry I'm late. Can I still apply for the job? We all know how passionate Stewie can be, but sometimes he finds a level that we never thought was possible. And that's exactly what went down when he met his new nanny, the lovely Ladon. Oh, hey Ladon. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Oh, well, well this here? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah, just, just, uh, just uh, my package. God delivered it. I signed for it. World keeps on spinning. The tiniest member of the Griffin clan was head over heels the moment he laid eyes on her, ready to give her his heart. But she had other plans in mind. Hey, little man. So you're the guy who's been trying to steal my girlfriend. What? You girlfriend? A few moments later. If he wants to throw hands, I'll throw hands. I tell you how to... How to uh, uh. Consumed by his jealousy, Stewie takes matters into his own hands and cooks up a twisted plan. I say, I think this is how you change a tire, but what do I know? I'm just a baby! Oh, the strokes, right. Did he stop there? No, no, no. He decided to stash his little escapade in Brian's ride. Talk about being a true friend. Somebody busted the lock. You, you have uh, any idea what that's about? Oh, oh that. It's this whole... It's this whole crazy thing. Number five, Unleashed Evil Stewie. <laughs> wow, never seen that happen before. What are you talking about? I think you're going soft. I mean, when was the last time you tried to blow something up or take over the world or, or even use the phrase damn you? It all kicked off when Stewie realized he was getting soft. Classic Stewie move. He creates a machine to unleash his dark side. But as expected in this crazy show, things went sideways. That's right. Stewie created a clone of himself, absorbing all his wickedness, and yeah, he goes by the name of Evil Stewie. And when we say evil, we mean evil. Hey, what are you doing? This evil doppelganger starts wreaking havoc on the neighborhood, and it's up to the original Stewie to put a stop to his rampage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! It all boils down to an epic showdown between the two pint-sized griffins, with Brian caught in the middle of this, faced with the ultimate decision. But hey, in the end, everything turned out fine. And I'm really glad I didn't kill the wrong Stewie. Yeah, me too. Hey, come on, I'll take you home. <laughs> Number four, killed new Brian. You know, Peter, I'd expect this kind of behavior from you, but you have no business endangering Brian like that. I mean, he jumped into that lake to try and save your life, and he's eight years old, Peter. That's 56 in human years. Plus, he drinks and he smokes all the time, so take that, make it 79 at least. You see, it all started when the family realized their beloved Brian was getting old and decided to bring a new pet into the house. Oh, yeah, meet new Brian. I'd like to introduce new Brian. Hey, gang, whose leg do you have to hump to get a hug around here? <laughs> oh, oh, I like him. The arrival of new Brian stirred up some feelings in the old Brian, prompting him to hit the road. While new Brian won over the hearts of everyone, Stewie's over here harboring some serious resentment. It doesn't bother you the way I pronounce it? Cool whip? No, why would it? Cool whip. I'm putting emphasis on the H. Sounds right to me. Nothing ever bothers you, does it? No, not really. I like everything. In a fit of jealous rage, Stewie decided to confront him, and new Brian couldn't resist provoking him. Nobody likes you here, man. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. What did you say? Rupert humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Woo! Rookie mistake. We all know where that's gonna end up. Number three, killed his brother. 
Ryan, can I give you money and you write me a check so I can order something from this Abercrombie and Fitch catalog? What do you want to order? Oh, wait, let me guess. Him. <laughs> he got you, Stewie. If only I had a time machine, I could go back in time and have that comeback ready. The Family Guy universe is so insane that even the need to come up with a killer comeback can trigger a mind-bending time-traveling extravaganza. What do you want to order? Oh, wait, let me guess. Him. Really? Why would I order your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> he got you, Brian! <sighs> but things take a dark twist with the arrival of Bertram, Stewie's wicked bro, setting off an evil scheme of epic proportions. I am gonna kill one of your ancestors, effectively erasing you from history! Here, play with this. You know, it's funny, I had actually stopped playing with that toy, but now that I see you with it, I kinda wanna play with it again. <laughs> Look at me! I'm mowing the lawn! Stewie and Brian embark on a mind-bending quest to thwart his villainous plans. And guess what? <gasps> that must be Leonardo da Vinci. Stewie, he looks just like you. Da Vinci must be my ancestor. Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci himself is their ancestor. Is this the greatest show on Earth or what? Finally, Bertram shows up, leading to this epic battle where Stewie's emerging as the victor, carrying out one of his coldest and most ruthless acts. Hey Bertram, what's your favorite kind of bottled water? Huh? Mine's Arrowhead. Oh! Wow, that was dramatic. Number two. Home Invasion in Christmas. I am so excited to see Santa Claus. He chooses to come here, year after year. You know, I mean, who, who are we? If there's one event that absolutely had to make it into this list, it's when Stewie and Brian had to step up and play Santa Claus during Christmas. You see, it all began with the little Griffin's burning desire to meet the jolly old man himself. Y'all's ready to kick it in some fine North Pole gear? Brian, why does the North Pole have black teenagers? C from, uh, Katrina? Ah, of course. All right. Well, uh, I just have one more question then. Do you think I'm an idiot? But Stewie's excitement quickly turned sour when he discovered the sorry state Santa was in and realized that Christmas was in some serious trouble. The only solution? Take matters into their own hands and become the new Santa. Come on, you dumb deer. Santa said they eat elf flesh. Mr. Elf, sir, hello? A few moments later. Um, bye. And everything went magically and smoothly the end. <laughs> Yeah, right. What are you doing in my house? We're Santa Claus. What the hell did you do? He was gonna call the cops, man. You can't call the cops on Santa. A few moments later. Right, right, we'll go. I, I, I'm just gonna rewrap this bat for um Johnny. Let me just clean his father's blood and hair off it. Daddy, I want a drink of water. That's right. We took a dark left turn, and Stewie found himself transformed into a ruthless home invader and a cold-blooded assassin. And it was only the first house. What? Do you have a brother? Well, then who the hell is John? Oh my god, we're in the wrong house. Damn it, we tripped the alarm. Brian, the cops are coming, let's go! Number one, let his therapist die. I haven't heard of any of the schools you went to, but I'm sure they were great. I mean, you're here, right? And why are you here, Stewie? Oh, that was lame. We all know deep down that Stewie's got some serious inner conflicts going on. That's why we ain't surprised when he rolls up to a child shrink for some help. You seem like a very lonely little boy. You can see inside my soul! Oh, God! <laughs> but what really tripped us out was seeing him open up like that to his therapist. Throughout this whole thing, we're watching Stewie drop his emotional barriers in the pursuit of his happiness. This isn't even how I really talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation, a coat of armor to get me through the day, just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. Ooh, sadly, we're witnessing just how far this little griffin goes to keep those secrets locked away forever in his therapist's pad. Hand me my heart medication, please. Of course. A few moments later. I'm not going to get it. Is this because I made you wait? It's because I can't have anyone know the real me. And so you must die. I guess that's what happens in therapy, though. Classic Stewie. Not to sound ghoulish, but any indication how much longer you're going to linger? I'm not sure. Thank you guys for hanging out having a good time with us. Be sure to subscribe and like the video for more Family Guy content. Why don't you check out the top 10 worst things Lois has done, shown on your screen right now. You'll freaking love it, man.